it seems clear to me that the system, that the, the processes were followed, that were in, in place at the time. That was before I was president of the UCI. Since that time, we've reviewed those processes. We've improved them. We've got them to a higher standard of, uh, uh, of administration even than is required by WADA. We now require three independent doctors to agree with, those, uh, uh, with the, that uh, prescription of those substances. And I'm, I'm confident that we've got a good system in place now. If you want to have a debate, a discussion about whether there should be therapeutic use exemptions, I think that's a different argument. They are allowed, they are part of the system, and uh, it seems that the system was followed. And since you took over in 2013, do you think cycling has regained its um, credibility? Well, I believe so, and I think, uh, you know, I, it's a, a, a battle that will continue uh, always, I think. There will always be people who try and cheat in any walk of life, whether it's sport or, or business. We had a Cycling Independent Reform Commission, uh, which did a, a comprehensive review of the history of doping in cycling, lo looked at some of the allegations of the recent past, and again, gave us 30, 35 lessons, things that we had to do to uh, avoid those kind of problems recurring. So we've genuinely now got independent processes there's no conflict of interest I don't get involved no other member senior member of the UCI's management committee or the staff of the UCI gets involved in the detail of anti-doping we've outsourced all of that to an independent body the cycling anti-doping foundation we have an independent legal team that's supervised by uh, an external legal counsel that, that uh, handles the case management of those cases so there's no interference no possibility of those conflicts of interest and I think those are things that are absolutely key to governing sport with integrity and, uh, and transparency. One of my jobs is to make sure that in, in our sport families can trust that if they bring their children into our sport they can go all the way to the top if they have the ability and the dedication uh, without having to lie, without having to cheat, without having to take substances that might damage their health in the long term and without having to spend the rest of their lives looking over their shoulders. Now those are fairly fundamental requirements I think in terms of governing a sport uh, and running it with integrity.